We are three months shy of the one-year mark of Hurricane Maria. The Category 4 storm devastated Puerto Rico and left hundreds of thousands of people without power and water. News 6's Vanessa Ariza returned this morning from visiting the island. She joins us in the studio tonight. And Vanessa, you spoke with a couple who is still without power. That's right, Julie. I spoke with a representative who brought us to their home in this area. This is just about a, an hour outside of San Juan. We are happy to tell you that just yesterday they got power to their house. This is after they've had it. They've been without it, actually, since Irma. We were there as crews worked on the power poles just outside of their house, and we found out, luckily and happily, they now have power. This is the way they, they maintain um, stuff. Cold. So this is their refrigerator. Yes. A standard 50 quart cooler is what has been keeping this couple's food cool for almost a year now. And no tenemos nada frío. Lolo Montanez and his wife live about an hour outside San Juan. They have been without power before Maria was even a thought of potential danger. The hardest part for them, not having anything cold and the worry that their food will go bad within days. Health conditions prevent them from driving into town. Instead, they have to depend on friends, family, and neighbors to survive. It's been very hard. It's been very um, heartbreaking. Delmaris Rodriguez lives in the area and works for the town of Nawabo. Rebuilding the electrical system in the area has been a slow one. As she told us her story, crews from across the country were working on wires a few feet away. One crew member, who was from North Carolina, told us he had only been there since February, helping to restore the power. Others, he said, have been on the island since November. They have food. She's thank God that they have food during the time. And she doesn't have uh, a telephone service or anything. So, so that, that will be, you know, a distance of calling their families. It's very bad, very bad. And I spoke with the executive director of Puerto Rico's Federal Affairs Commission just yesterday. He said more than 90 percent of the island has power. He says they are hoping to have all of the power restored within the next couple of weeks, but they are still working to build a stronger grid. So even people who have power worry that if another storm rolls through, they are going to go through all of this all over again. Uh -huh. People on the island still telling me, yeah, we have power, but it's still intermittent. Oh, that right. is crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is your second time back. You were yeah. there in December mm -hmm. and back this time. Time. What no, what changes? Well, how did you notice the change there? So we flew in in December on the west side of the town, Aguadilla, and it was very creepy. You got this weird mm -hmm. kind of vibe, um, and it was dark, and it was extremely dark on the island. Mm -hmm. We flew into San Juan this time. People were more upbeat. You had tourists in. Their kids mm -hmm. had their backpacks. They were ready to check out the island. And a lot of people we talked to, they wanted to take pictures with us, yeah. which was very sweet. And they said, thank you so much for coming out here and still telling our story. Of course. And so they said, yeah. we, we fear that people will forget. So thank you for coming out. Yeah. And it's so easy to forget because it's not happening right here right. to mm -hmm. us. But nine months without electricity, right. I can't even imagine. Yeah. And I can't imagine the anxiety now that we're back in hurricane season. No. They yeah. said if another rainstorm comes in, yeah. we're oh, so afraid of what's yeah. going to happen. Well, great so. job out there reporting. Thank you.